Welcome to the Bilsif Show, eh? I'm your host. Fuck off. How are you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. Friggin' right I am, dickhead. Friggin' right you are. Just wham across two lanes of traffic. Why wouldn't you? Anyways, how's everybody doing? It's Friday. Friggin' right it's Friday. Time to get the hell out, boys, and get the hell home, Jim. But it's colder than Dex out again, and it's freaking snowing, so... I don't know what the hell to tell you, boys. Fucking Dr. Pepper. How long has it been since you <laughs> got one of them into you? Oh, hey. Come on, let's go there, bud. Move that Malibu. Fuck this. Oh, we got the Perlator guy. He wants to fucking race me again. What about race? Hey. Ugh. Anyways, I want to talk to you about something today, I do. And I want to know in the comments below what you think and what and if this happens to you. So let me know. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and the notification bell, 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 bell. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell, bell button if you like this kind of content. Why wouldn't you? But <laughs> last night, Jesus Christ, I had a mucho burrito for friggin' lunch, and I'm telling you, boys, it was the size of a fucking little baby. It was, and I ate the whole goddamn thing. And about two hours later, I think I pooped out that same fucking size baby. My God, now all I can taste is mucho burrito. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was saying, last night on the way home. 894, Sanaki's going. 894. Yeah, 894, uh, she just confirmed to me that everything was okay. They had double checked this thing uh, before, apparently accepting the train over the tunnel. Uh, they told me basically conventional uh, green train, the max is 18,000 tons for the subdivision. And um, when it's DP, it's uh, 30,000, apparently over. Okay, so green trains are allowed up to 18, over 18,000 conventional. Yeah, that is correct. So you are within the uh, authorized uh, tonnage turnover. over. Decent. See you radio, boys. I don't know where that come from. Fell in my lap one day, it did. For great, it did. There you go, boys. That's how many tons they can carry. Why wouldn't it be? But, like I was saying, again, for freak's sakes. I was saying. I don't remember what I was saying. Oh! So last night I got thinking, I'm so nice of a guy, I'd give the shirt off my goddamn back at one. So, last night, I texted about three different people that one person I gave lights to, another person I did this for him, and that, whatever. It doesn't matter, but anyways. I did them or gave them something. In return, they are supposed to do this or that or the other thing. So, months go on, days go on, I know everybody gets busy and this and that and the other fucking thing, but... Sometimes you just get tired of it, and I'm tired of freaking getting bent over the shaft, boys, so I'm not doing it anymore. So I text one of my buddies about some lights and RCs and this and that, and swap and trade, do that and whatnot. We didn't get around to it. He's been busy. I've been busy. I get it. It's no big deal. But I said, hey, bud, you know, you want to send me 25 bucks in the lights because, you know, we hardly see each other and this and that. I didn't say all that, but I said something and whatnot and this and that and the other fucking thing. So without even a pause, he sent me $25. So as far as I'm concerned, that is one solid dude and you know who you are and thank you man that means a lot fucking right it does and hey if i ever get the rc stuff then i'll just give him that back freaking right it would i just you know that's the kind of shit that needs to happen so if you're one of those guys that borrow shit and don't return it you should be shot and fucking pissed on and another guy and no it's not you brian so fucking relax another guy borrowed a couple big tools from me it was about 170 bucks for these tools so a year goes by, he texts him, hey man, you done with my tools yet? Yeah, he texts me back, no, I'm uh, sorry, it's been, you know, this long and I know you know, I should have this and that and whatever and Bob's your uncle and Fanny Ranch, shout out your butthole. But Okay, I'm like, all right, we'll keep for a little longer, why wouldn't you, and this and that and the other fucking thing. So, another year goes by, I text him, hey bud, obviously I'm not getting my tools back, so uh, why don't you just send me 150 bucks and... Because that way I can just replace them and you can keep those ones because obviously I'm not going to get back. So he had the fucking guts to text me back. Fuck you. That's what he texted me back. So I thought to myself, oh fuck, he's got to be joking. So he texts back, no, seriously. And he's like, no, seriously. Oh, all right. So anyways, I wrote him off. So he's gone. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I paid 160 bucks to get rid of somebody that I don't need in my life. So that's all right. No big deal. Right? Money spent, money saved. Why wouldn't you? What? Another guy texts, another, you know, 52-inch light bar. Yeah, man, hey, man, you got an extra bar, I can get that from you, and then I can, you know, come over and do that carburetor thing for you or whatever the hell it was. I'm not going to say any names. So this was last, early last summer, spring. So he texted him. Hey, bud, do you want to send me 50 bucks for a light bar? Because you never did come over and do this carburetor like you said you were going to. He said, 50 bucks for what? 
I said the uh, light bar I gave you because you're supposed to come over and adjust my carburetor. Well, I don't know what light bar you're talking about. What light bar? I'm like, are you freaking serious right now? He's like, dude, I ain't getting no light bar from you. I'm like, wow, man. Whatever. Thank God I didn't pay for the light bar. <laughs> but you let people step all over you, boys, and you get shit on, it doesn't get you anywhere. So as I'm getting older, I'm starting to realize, fuck that. I'm done with it, boys. No more linen shit and this and that and the other thing if I'm never going to get it back. Not happening. Not doing it. So, hopefully this is a lesson to y'all. Except for certain people that I know that, you know, I know I'll get it back. I just have to go pick it up. But I was always taught, you know, when you borrow something, you return it. But hey, that's just me. Certain things in my garage that I don't own that I have not returned yet. Which is no big deal because the one thing I got is a honer and I'm buying him a new one because I chipped the edge of the friggin' home, so I'm not gonna give it back, and they're $25, so I'll just buy him another one, and he's and I work with him, so me and him are gonna go out for lunch one day, and I'm gonna buy him a new one. It's no big deal. He doesn't need one right now, so we're not bothered. We're just gonna do what we do. And the other one's uh, just storing some stuff for people, actually, more than anything. So, yeah, that's that's how she rolls, please. But uh, leave a comment down below if you have the same problem, or you have buddies like that that aren't really buddies that they just want you for something. And uh, let me know what you think. She is what she is. And it's Friday, like I said. And I'm going to go home and I'm going to eat. I got some paperwork to do. I got a little sewing to do. I got to sew a, just a small little rip of my jeans. Maybe I'll do a video of that. Who wants to see a video of me sewing a small little tiny rip of my jeans? Let me know down below in the comment section. Where I normally see a lot of you just talk to me. And where they put that little heart thingamabob or doodad or whatnot. Or friggin' right. But anyways... Have a good night, enjoy your Friday. Sunday's supposed to be 55, so it's gonna be nice out. It's gonna be an outside video day. But for now, this is what you got, and you're gonna have to take it. I love you. Please subscribe, please share, and hit that like button. I really appreciate it, and you know what to do for now.